Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Monarch. He made his first appearance in Armageddon 2001, volume one, issue number one in May of 1991. Now, for all intensive purposes, there have been two individuals to carry the title of Monarch. The first being Hank Hall, also known as Hawk, of the Hawk and Dove superhero pair, and he stands six feet one inch tall and weighs 197 pounds, having red eyes and brown hair. And the other major character to carry that name is Nathaniel Adam, also well known as Captain Adam, and he stands six feet four inches tall and weighs 200 pounds, having silver eyes and silver hair. Now the Hank Hall version of Monarch had all the powers of the original Hawk, which allowed him to transform when he sensed danger. This gave him superhuman strength, speed, stamina, durability, as well as a healing factor. Now these were his natural metahuman abilities, and in addition to this, as the Monarch, he wore a highly advanced and durable armor, which came from the far future. With this, he had the ability to time travel, project energy blasts, teleport, fly, and jump between parallel universes. It has to be noted that during one of the periods of his universe hops, he was going by the title of the Extant, during this time becoming vastly more powerful. Now, a more current and the most powerful of the Monarch was actually Nathaniel Adam, also known as Captain Adam. During a period that he was inside of the Monarch armor, he was without question one of the apex beings of the entire DC multiverse. It goes without saying then that this Monarch character had almost immeasurable vast superhuman strength, invulnerability, and energy projection, also being able to absorb and manipulate different types of matter. He's been punched by Superman and barely even felt it, and as a matter of fact, the only beings that are known to have been able to actually injure Monarch are the Earth-16 Chris Kent, who literally died from the stress of carrying out this massive attack, and then Superboy Prime, who was then supercharged with Owen Guardian power. Some of his other feats include absorbing the powerful Major Force and the Captain Atom Brigade, which was every single other version of Captain Atom in the multiverse. He was also shown beating three versions of Superman and Wonder Woman at the same time with one blow. This guy has even incinerated the nearly unkillable Lobo, as well as going toe-to-toe -to -toe with monitors. Now, a brief overview of Monarch's complex storyline reveals that he's a paradox created by the unchecked use of time travel. He was a tyrannical ruler of an alternate future Earth, who as I explained earlier was originally Hank Hall, also known as Hawk. The Hawk and Dove pair had a unique bond, Hawk representing chaos and Dove representing order. And due to the untimely death of Dove, Hawk was driven insane, not having a counterbalance to his chaotic nature. Using advanced tech, he then took over the world as Monarch. His rule was only threatened when a scientist named Matthew Ryder, who happened to be an expert on time travel, was convinced that he could use his technology to go back in time and prevent Monarch from ever taking command. During his experiments, Matthew was changed into the being called Wave Rider, and his subsequent efforts and adventures ended up leaving Hall lost in time, and also locked in combat with Captain Adam. During these subsequent battles is when Hank Hall ended up emerging as the Extant, and Captain Adam's energy became locked inside of the Monarch armor. It's actually revealed that the villainous version of this Captain Adam Monarch was a result of a newly born monitor named Solomon. Solomon had instinctively attacked Captain Adam as soon as he got back to New Earth from the Wildstorm universe. This assault was so vicious that he damaged the alien metal shell that was around him, and this caused a leak of dangerous amounts of radiation. Captain Adam later awakens in a facility within a more advanced Monarch armor, but he's not in his right mind and his mental condition is unknown. He then viciously destroys everything in his path as he escapes. Monarch then goes on to wreak havoc across the Earth-3, Earth-8, Earth-10, and Earth-51 universes. He was only stopped when the Guardian-boosted Superboy Prime luckily ripped open his armor, which caused a massive quantum energy explosion that rocked the entire Earth-51 universe. A time later, Captain Adam suffering from amnesia was discovered. He wasn't within the Monarch suit, and after he learned of the atrocities that had occurred, he couldn't help but be on the lookout for another Monarch that might somehow be lurking in the folds of space-time to start his campaign of terror all over again. Now, due to his powers and abilities, and his influence on the DC not only universe, but multiverse, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Monarch a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.